Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about drum microphones, especially the overhead miking that 95% uh, of drummers use. So I see a lot of it in, in the photos that you send to me in, in room form, so I want to talk about it a little bit here. So we all know from past videos that in drum rooms, one of the critical dimensions that we always should consider is ceiling height. You know, I see a lot of rooms that are eight foot ceiling heights, nine foot ceiling heights. But if you look at, you know, studios and, and stuff from, from way back when they had these massive drum rooms with high ceiling height, there's reason for the high ceiling height, okay? You might be able to get away with a little less width and a little less length in the room if you have enough treatment, but this ceiling height is, is really critical. So we have to be careful with our overhead mics as they get close to the ceiling height. As we know from, from our, our system setup that if we put our speakers too close to the wall, this is distortion, you know, and there's actually a term for it, speaker boundary interference effect. Well, what is a microphone? It's really a speaker, if you think about it, okay? So what we have to realize is that we're gonna get that same kind of distortion that we get with the speaker being close to the wall, with the microphone being close to the wall. And don't underestimate how bad this is, because this is really bad. So you, what you're trying to do here when you're using a low ceiling height and having the microphone close to the ceiling height is you're uh, trying to get a, a particular kind of room sound with your drums. But that room sound is all kinds of reflections at the microphone position. And if we have a eight foot ceiling height and we have a seven foot microphone with only a 12 inches here of space between them, that distortion is huge. Just Rec do, do a couple sample test recordings away from the ceiling and away from the surface areas and you'll see how bad it is. Now, you know, you, you'll pick up maybe another, have another microphone in the room somewhere else and, and another, and then you'll clean it up in post. I understand all that, but don't underestimate the proximity effect here. And that's why we, to get the big drum sound, we use a bigger room, okay? Now, we can also get a bigger drum sound by putting treatment close to the, the drums. You know, our carbon technology around a kick, and usually the microphone is, you know, real close to the, the kick. So when we put our carbon technology around, sorry, I guess I am going a little lower, <laughs> putting the carbon technology around the microphone, you reduce the whole pressure from the drum to the microphone. And when you do reduce the pressure, you get more tone quality. And all drummers want their own tone quality. So you have to be careful with all these boundary surfaces because they're really a nightmare when it comes to producing distortion. And I think we get a little complacent and we get a little bit laxed, if you will, about that. And we just kind of take it for granted that we're working in, in small rooms with small ceilings. But it might be better in some situations to record your drums in a studio scenario where you have a larger ceiling height because this proximity effect is, is horrible in terms of sound quality. So, and it'll go against everything you're trying to do in terms of definition and separation and tone for the, the kick especially. So that's overhead mics and drums. That's why we like the larger and taller ceiling heights. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.